Hello, I'm Amy Cummings with the RTC, and thank you so much for your interest in the 2050 Regional Transportation Plan. This is the document that's going to define the transportation infrastructure investments that we make over the next 20 to 30 years, and community input is vital to the completion of this process. You may remember that earlier this summer we issued a call for projects to the community, and we've been hard at work evaluating those projects. Now we want to bring them back to you uh, and the members of the community to give us your feedback on what projects you think are the most important to carry forward it, with this plan. So we're going to walk through some of those projects today. The guiding principles of the RTC are to support safe and healthy communities, economic prosperity and innovation, sustainability, and to increase travel choices. As you think about the projects we're going to talk about today, we invite you to keep all of these core guiding principles in mind. First, I'm going to start with the transit system. Our goal is to provide a productive, cost-effective, quality service that provides a great customer experience. We want to continue to provide the access to jobs and essential services that we have been doing, but also use new innovative approaches to expand our ridership. Ride fixed route service is the core of our system. And while we don't have the revenue projected today to be able to expand service, if over the life of the plan additional funds do become available, we want to look at increasing the frequency and the hours of operation within the core of our service area to increase our ridership. We want to continue to use our FlexRide service. Launched as a demonstration program, this has been very successful in serving some of our more suburban areas and it's been more effective in serving some of our suburban areas because it provides a curb-to-curb on-demand service. The Rapid is our premier transit service. Right now, about a quarter of our trips take place on the Lincoln Line and the Virginia Line. So the future of this system we see is continuing to build on those successful routes on West 4th Street and South Virginia. We also want to make sure we're taking care of our maintenance facility needs and continuing to expand our ability to have zero emission transit fleets. We're looking at expanding 4th Street Station so that we have additional electric charging for our buses. We're also looking at upgrading our Pepper Mill Station on the northbound side and working with the FTA Joint Development Program to see if there's an opportunity for affordable housing in conjunction with that transit station. One of the key priorities that we see over the life of this plan is continuing to improve our sidewalks and accessibility at our transit stations. We want to look at relocating our Meadowood Mall transfer station, and we've also heard the need for additional parking in the downtown areas of Reno and Sparks. So we want to look at opportunities for more parking integrated with bike parking and multimodal access for Vanpool and other transit services. Now we're going to take a look at the roadway improvements. As I mentioned, through our community survey earlier this summer, almost 200 projects were identified. And we're launching a follow-up survey at rtcwashoe.com where you can look uh, and give us your input on all of these projects. To make it a little bit more user-friendly, we've divided the surveys into four components. One are capacity projects on existing roads. One is new road construction. Another is multimodal projects that don't have road capacity but focus on sidewalks and bicycle connectivity, and then freeway improvements. RTC has started to look at safety, traffic impacts, and a range of other factors in regards to all of these projects. And one of the critical pieces that we're looking for is input from the community, and that's the purpose of our survey. This is a map that highlights an analysis of safety on all of our regional roads. We looked at crash frequency, crash rate, and severity to highlight the corridors on our regional network with the most significant concerns. We also looked at future traffic congestion projections, and this was based on data from the Truckee Meadows Regional Planning Agency called the Consensus Forecasts. So based on the projected population employment in the year 2050 and our existing transportation network, the map on the left shows what traffic congestion is anticipated if no improvements are made to our regional network. And it reflects significant traffic congestion, particularly north of I-80, including Pyramid Highway, 395, and North Virginia Street. The map on the right shows the traffic congestion that's expected to result if we build all of the projects that we're going to show you today. You can see that we're not able to eliminate all traffic congestion, but it does make a 
significant improvement. The first survey that you'll survey page that you'll see includes capacity projects on existing roads. And of course, when we're adding new roadway capacity, we're also improving sidewalks and adding bike facilities in an appropriate way. So these do include multimodal components, but the primary focus is adding new capacity on these existing roads. We also look at new road construction through the community input process and our existing plans and studies. We show here the uh, proposed new roadways. Some uh, have been in development for many years, such as the Pyramid 395 connector. The Eagle Canyon corridor extension, for example, is underway right now with a planning study. Uh, and some others have been suggested, such as the extension of Lemon Drive and the extension of Moya as well. We have a larger number of multimodal projects under consideration. These in the survey you'll see broken out into two separate pages uh, so that it's a little bit easier to read and see all of the projects. And these don't include new lanes for cars, but they do focus on safety and new sidewalks and new bicycle connectivity. So on our survey you'll see a project description that provides more information about each of these. And finally, our freeway is vitally important to the functioning of our transportation network and we have worked very closely with the Nevada Department of Transportation to incorporate their plans into this RTP as well. And we're seeking your input on which projects would be of the highest priority to you. Our next steps are to have this public meeting and the online survey. We'll analyze the results that we receive and integrate those into the prioritization process and present those to the board of the Regional Transportation Commission. We hope to have a draft project listing available for public comment in January and a draft plan for review in February. Please visit us at rtcwashoe.com for more information and thank you for your participation.